that's just the way it fucking is. from the ragged priest it's super fuzzy and soft she said i'm pretty fluid with my style i'm really into baby blues and baby pinks right now i like y2k but honestly just do whatever you want i'm just honored to let you style me my instagram is blah 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 if you want to see what you think would suit me the only things i don't like are tight fitting pants and low cut t-shirts anything y2k but still a little edgy or even a bell inspired bundle but in baby colors would be cute and yeah, she gave us her Instagram. She has like some cool tattoos. She has a like, huge bat and it says misery. So she's definitely like on the edgier side. So we had fun with this. Let's explain look by look. Okay, so she said that whole baby colors thing and like Bella inspired. And I feel like I've been wearing a lot of dresses like this recently. And I actually just bought this for myself, but she, I felt like she'd be super into it. So I'm giving it to her. It's like glittery baby blue, and then it has this cute tie here and a little cutout. It's honestly adorable. And she had the pearls in her legs, so we gave her the pearls that she could pair with this. And then for like a little bit more of an edgy option, we did this classic vintage head pleated skirt to pair with those striped leg warmers that she could pair with like some Converse or like some vintage Oxfords that look really cool. We paired it with this top, which would just be totally adorable. It has like the baby pink contrast stitching on the black and then it says rock there. And then we gave her the sleepy nameplate with the Zodiac choker stack. We did some matching pink hair clips, the eye girl studs, and she had like some sexy pics on her page and she was giving me like an I'm baby vibe. So we gave her this sexy baby bralette that we found. And then for the final touch, we gave her one of these rockstar dead stock backpacks. So this is, I'll just read her description. She said, hi, I just ordered my second eye girl bundle. I'm really excited. And she gave her measurements. And then she said, I love your style and Devin Carlson's. I really like slip dresses with monochromatic looks fairy type looks and stuff like that. The bundle definitely doesn't have to fit all of that. It could be anything along those lines. Those are just some ideas. If none of that makes sense, just do whatever you want. I'm open to a lot. Thank you. I'm super excited. I'm also a Libra. Okay, so I feel like this was like her Devony option and this was like her Bella option. So we did, there was lots of like midi and maxi length dresses in her likes and in her purchases as well. So we did this like chartreuse color like midi maxi dress. It has like a really cute slit along the front and the color is just like super rare, honestly, and was giving me her vibe. And then she has like almost every eye girl piece, but she doesn't have the pearls, so now she'll have those. And I actually just gifted these to Devin, so they'll twin. And we did some matching butterfly clips. And over here, this outfit is amazing. So we found these amazing to the max flares that had this like like distress detailing, incredible. We She had some Emily the Strange pieces in her life. So we included the Emily the Strange tote bag that we found a few of dead stock. We did this vintage grommet belt. It was like silver and had the studs there. And then we found this incredible serious goth fuzzy sweater. And there's the tag, so incredible. Has like the black vinyl patch over there and then stars along the sleeve over here as well. And then the Sirius logo there. It's just amazing. Gave her these adorable little earrings that have hearts and wings and the little red gems. Final throw in, we also decided to include this old Rampage tank that had like the butterfly detail. I know she's a little bit on the sheer side, but she had some similar pieces in her likes. And she could also pair it with the jean with like a black bra underneath for that fairy vibe she requested. Okay, this is for Lauren Hudgens. She said, I love a lot of the looks you've been creating in recent vids, especially the bundles in the styling looks for angels video. She said, Unif and 90s inspired, can be grunge, tomboy, girly, etc. Her real life style icons are Bella Hadid, Devin Lee Carlson, and Chessa on Instagram. It has like a bunch of S's in the Chessa. Style icons in movies, Cher Horowitz, Katherine Heigl's character in Wish Upon a Star, Lainey Boggs after her transformation in She's All That, 
Cad Stratford and 10 Things I Hate About You. Like pretty much everything except strapless tops or really low waisted pants. Open to all patterns. I especially like gingham, leopard, and floral. Love butterflies, both on jewelry and clothing. And my zodiac sign is cancer. She gets three options. By the way, sometimes people will get three options when we feel like we just have another piece that would totally fit their vibe. And then sometimes people get like two really strong options. It really just depends on the bundle. So in that styling look for angel styling looks for angels video i had done like a levi a nice levi pant in one of the looks that she said that she liked in her description so i just got these amazing levi pants for myself they're like the perfect wash and distressing and they'll be like so so good on her bod so we blessed her with these and avi Devin, and bella hadid love like a classic levi so she can pair those bad boys with just about anything. We gave her the hottie belt. We, she had this like unif dress with this these lines across the chest that had a really similar vibe to this vintage knit. So we included that for her to pair with the jeans or she could pair the Smith's tee from this look with the jeans as well, depending on her mood. So she had a lot of little floral midi skirts and mini skirts in her likes. And she said that she loves floral print. So we included this adorable, very Y2K era skirt. And it's by LA Movers, girl. So cute. And then the Smith's baby tee looked super cool with it. It reminded me of the style icon she mentioned in her DMs, Chessa. I feel like that girl would totally wear this. And she said she loves butterflies. So we matched the blue on the Smith's tee with these butterfly clips here. And then we gave her the eye girl studs. And then since she said share, share Horrocks and Clueless is like super bougie. So we gave her the eye girl pearls for her to pair with this adorable pale yellow cardigan. It has like tiny glossy buttons that are amazing. And there was little button up cardigans in her Depop likes. So I paired it with this and those pearls. And then I had this adorable contrast stitch skirt that she can pair with that. Honestly, all the pieces are super interchangeable. Yeah, and it's rave for real. Adorable. So my theme for the bundle gives off the vibe of Sasha in the Bratz Express It collection. I'll put a photo right here of Bratz in the, or Sasha in the Express It collection. Super cute. Lol, to better explain it, a 90s urban chic baddie. Currently obsessed with animal print, unif, and a little edgy touch to a fit. I usually go for a super baggy pant, but I'm open to any skirts or dresses. For tops, I'm not very comfortable with showing off cleavage, but I'm cool with everything else. I already have the eye girl pendant, but would love to snatch either the rosary or the she devil pendant. Also, I'm a Leo. Yes, fellow Leos. Leos, can't comment down below. We love you. Here's the, my icon ATM, whose style fits the bundle theme. And Naomi Rostell, who we love deeply. This is what we pulled together. We are low key obsessed with it. Here is the first option. So, as you'll see, Sasha's look is very much this like washed out denim vibe. So we did this amazing trench coat by Faded Glory back in the day. It has like some crazy stitching, some, it's like faux fur. Yeah, it's faux furry trim. And then she asked for the she devil pendant, so she got that. And then we also gave her the she devil hoops to twin. And we literally just restocked these star clips that match the coat really well and then we had this super cute little y2k era dress it's by janet but like it's spelled all crazy right? jeanette. Je oh jeanette jeanette usa and then it, you can tie like a little bow there and it has like a little asymmetrical trim there so there is that and then for the second option, it's still like a similar vibe while also making it a little bit more Naomi Rostell. We did this amazing denim skirt. It's so cute because it looks like the back on like both sides, which I love. And the brand is called Richly because she's rich. The Suicidal Tendencies Baby Tee. She said that she loves like an edgy twist in her bundle description. So I thought that that was like a really fun edgy twist and this color kind of matches the stitching and then we gave her the leo choker naomi rostel always does a baby tee so we gave this camo one that was also giving the brats vibe we gave her an angel belly chain and then those butterfly clips as well up there okay so this girl has bought a bundle before but this time her boyfriend bought her a bundle and he was like oh i don't want her to find out so like can you pull up her measurements from before so we pulled up her measurements from before and created this bundle for her he said that she um to just do whatever we want 
and last time i'm pretty sure we put her bundle in a video last time she said she loved like marilyn manson courtney love she loved like indie and she also loved like grungy goth stuff but she said that her style is was me so we pulled together these two fits that i love we did over here we did this mini red plaid skirt that has like glitter in the plaid and little belt loops so she could put like throw a pant chain or like a belt around to snatch her waist. And then we did this amazing sweater by Sans Souci. There's the brand tag there. And it has the faux fur trim around the collar. And then we did these little white glasses up here that tied into the skirt. And she can also pair it with the other look option. And then it was giving me kind of like a retro vibe with that sweater and like those little square frame sunnies up there. So we did this like TV trunk bag that she can pair with really either look option. It's giving me like a very eclectic vintage vibe. We did this look, I'm sort of obsessed with it. We did these squeeze jeans shorter alls to pair with this Chucky baby tee. And then her boyfriend said that she really wanted this bike choker. So I thought it was so sweet he bought that for her. So I decided to include this bike choker for her. But yeah, we popped that in. It's in this adorable little box and it's in that little wrapping there. That's how the spike choker comes in the mail. And then we gave her the coffin pendant to stack up with it. We gave her this little dizzy pop so that she could pose with her IG with it. Like major Chucky vibes. We gave her these little rhinestone girl hair clips to pop on each side of her head. I'm beyond excited to be ordering my first bundle. For my theme, I would love an 80s trad goth meets punk look inspired by Nancy Downs and Susie Sue. I live in the desert and it's starting to get up to 100 degrees, so please keep that in mind. I love skirts and dresses. I prefer a higher waist on any bottoms and usually need a belt. Love statement pieces, layering jewelry, and wouldn't mind a coat for the winter. Don't want any t-shirts or jeans. The only jewelry I have from you so far are the anarchy clips. I need to get my ears repierced so earrings are optional. I am a Pisces. My measurements are la la la. So for this first look, we did a very 80s trad goth piece. We did this adorable, it's like blazer-esque like dress. It has waist tie along the back too, so she could snatch it to her. It was giving me a major Susie Sue vibe. And then for a little bit of a punk touch, we gave her these high rise fishnet tights that she could pair with it. I would put this black skirt like underneath it so that it was kind of coming out the bottom or she could pair it with like anything really in her wardrobe. She could put a little black dress underneath. That would be really cute too. We gave her this adorable choker here. And then we gave her the coffin studs for when she re-pierces her ears and she said they're optional. And we gave her these fun little square frame sunnies. We did this amazing little skirt. It's by Oso oh Collection, and it has that amazing clasp closure here. Gave her this like knit tank here, and she had some bat accessories in her legs, so we gave her this bat to stack up with the coffin and the Pisces choker in her sign. And then she asked for a jacket, and we had this amazing vinyl jacket in red, since she said red was one of her favorite colors. It was giving me Nancy Downs energy as well, so she can wear that in the winter. Literally on top of any of these looks would be cute as well wow so this girl said she wants y2k skater she said she loves girly she said she loves colorful and she said she loves oan de queen naomi rostel and a miracle so we pulled together these options for her she also said she was open to like a 90s grunge vibe as well so first over here we did 90s skater and definitely went colorful so we did these amazing vintage skater like carpenter jeans with the hammer loop they're like dungarees and they have the logo there so cute i love this wash pant chain and then up here we did this adorable dead stock freedom next era baby tee that says vote on it avi go vote color coordinated with the mickey mouse mini bag so it's like yellow and yellow and then we also color coordinated up there with the yellow hair clips which uh, oh, and the queen loves to do. And we gave her a stack here. We gave her the She Devil he Heaven Coffin Pendant Stack. And she requested the Eye Girl studs. So we gave her, we had one lying around the office because we're totally sold out of them. So she got them. There was a eunuch but bustier top in her legs that looks super similar to this one that she could like tie up and wear with the jeans for a cool vibe. And then over here, she said she loves Unif and like anything Unif really. 
she said she would love. So Unif ha just dropped a midi skirt that's super similar to this one, and this is actually Delia's, and it has that adorable lettuce trim up there. So she could pair this with the Smith's baby tee. This was giving me a total Naomi Rostell vibe. And then we also included the Aries choker, and for the final girly touch, we did those little girly rhinestone bobby pins. Oh my god, hi sweetie. First of all, I'd just like to tell you how fucking happy I am right now because I've been waiting for so long to get a bundle and I could not be more excited. Also, I'm kind of a heavy plus size and I hope it's not going to be too difficult for you to style me. Of course not. Without further ado, my measurements are la la la. For this look, I would love something 90s grunge meets Y2K streetwear because that's pretty much my current style, but I don't fear beer fearing because <laughs> I don't fear being pushed outside of my comfort zone except for maybe skin tight style clothes my style icons are you duh the dolls co models and an Italian influencer called Lily Meraviglia I love layering accessorizing and black mixed with bold colors my hair color is always changing as well I'm an Aries but I already have the zodiac choker hope I didn't ask for too much so that's the gist of what she said so we pulled together these two options here. First off, we did these amazing vintage 90s era shorts. And then we did the eye girl baby tee. We did this adorable O-ring purse. I love the little cheetah print on the front. We gave her this purple tank option that she could pair with either or if she's feeling purpley. I know she said bold colors mixed with black. So we decided to do red and purple so she could choose which one is more her or matches with her current hairstyle. We did this amazing top by Miss Thing USA, the little grommets around it. I know we didn't get the grommet belt in her size because we're completely out of grommet belts right now, but this had that same grommet effect and it was giving me like dolls kill energy. And then we gave her this stack situation. We gave her the coffin and the bat because it was reminding me of the Italian influencer that she mentioned in her messages. Since she said streetwear, we did these amazing wide leg cords. You gotta see the branding on the back, it's so good. It's like garment stage, and then it has that logo there and the huge extendo pockets, or like old skate pants, very cute. And then we gave her this stacked chain. Okay, this really is an amazing bundle. I'll read your description. So this is for Lucy, and she said, hey, I just bought, I'm so excited, I'm actually blessed to be getting styled by you. So I really like Y2K and late 90s style. I'm not too sure what I want, but I've been liking the lingerie-esque camis. Lingerie-esque camis and tops. I normally wear any Y2K jean. I like low waist and high, also flares and baggy jeans, cargo jeans. I like the Bratz looking denim lately, like the butterfly and flare vibe. I prefer light wash and don't like shorts. Y2K is just my dream. So I'm more comfortable in jeans and slip and baby doll dresses, but I'm open to anything. I all like a cute baby tee as well, but not anything too baggy for a top. I love a nice cute jacket, but I don't really have one at the moment. Honestly, I want you to take this and incorporate your style into this because I really like how you do that in your styling bits. Love your style as inspo, but I'm not be into a full monochromatic look. Also, I died when I watch your white tea thrift haul. I really like the sleepy nameplate or coffin pendant and maybe even the pearls. Also, I don't like hot pink or yellow that much. So, look option one, we gave her a light wash. It's like a mid-rise jean. Since she asked for light wash, and these are totally a Bratz vibe, and they're by LEI, a personal fave. White grommet belt and this Hello Kitty tin pail purse. I love how it ties into the white on the side there with the bell. And it's just like so Y2K and she said she's like Y2K fanatic. So she said she likes uh, lingerie camis. So we had to include one, this adorable pink cami tank that's so adorable paired with this. And then she said she also loves baby tees. So we just came up on this like mini haul of Joe Boxer baby tees. And this is one of them. It's like all this and brains too. And it's like kind of glittery. Let me show you the other ones while we're at it. This one is so adorable too. It's like doesn't play well with others. And I don't know if anyone remembers this like fabric from back in the day, but I remember it from as a kid. It's like super chunky and like, like a foam vibe kind of, but it's adorable. And I'll show you the other one we found as well. Didn't we find one more? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this one was Joe Boxer as well, and it says save us both time and assume I know everything. <laughs> okay, back to the bundle. So yeah, we gave her lingerie tank, baby tea options, and then she asked for the coffin, so we gave her the coffin pendant. She said that she kind of wanted me to do my own twist on it as well, 
and I was seeing lots of midi length skirts and dresses in her Depop likes. So we included this incredible Y2K era dress. It has like little beaded straps there. And, oh, there's no brand tag, but totally, totally adorable. And then we accessorized with these little butterfly hair clips because she said she loves butterflies. We gave her these black Y2K frames. We gave her the Pisces choker and she got super blessed with the eye girl pearls. For this bundle, I was just thinking, do what you think would look best. I trust your creativity completely and can't wait to see what your twist on my specs would be. My Insta is blah, blah, blah. I'm a fan of the 90s Y2K era, grazzy, monochromatic looks and rainbows, but I'm also interested into experimenting with styles that are different from what I usually go for, like punk plus goth. The only thing I'm not a fan of are camel print, animal print and low rise pants. Recently, I've been digging skirts and everything high-rise. Brands I like include Unif, Lazy Oaf, and Delia's by Dolls Kill. Also, just a note, I have a lot of eyegirl accessories that my friends gave me, and she said what eyegirl accessories she had, and her measurements. First, we did, I saw some like cargo jeans in her likes, and these were giving me a Lazy Oaf vibe because they've been doing a wide leg pant recently. I gave her these amazing wide leg pants with like a deep scoop pocket and they're dead stock by Exhilaration back in the day. This adorable pastel belt. It has like a big buckle there. It's so adorable. She had like a lot of Y2K baby tees in her likes. So we gave her this Bobby Jack baby tee. It tied into like the pastel there, really cute. And it was just like an adorable pastel vibe going on. We also had this glittery blue pencil case that was so cute that we just decided to throw in because it was reminding me of the new Delia's by Dolls Kill stuff. And then she said she didn't have the sleepy nameplate and we're actually totally sold out. So I gave her my personal sleepy nameplate. We gave her another option with these pants. She could do this tie-dye top and Unif just did a tie-dye top. So, and she asked for Unif. So I think she'll totally be into that. We gave it a raw hem, but she can also totally crop it a little bit more. If that's her vibe. And then we gave her this adorable belt. It had like a rainbow detail on it. And she mentioned rainbow and this was like rainbow. So whoa we gave her two hair clip options these little slick chick ones or these butterfly clips so she could choose here she had lots of dresses in her legs so i wanted to give her a dress option as well so we gave her this denim dress that was giving the brats vibe that she requested and it's by aqua blues late 90s era and mind equals blown looks adorable on top of this tie-dye top for like a fun layering look. And then she said she wanted to try goth and punk out. So I gave her the Zodiac choker and these little hatchet earrings. So this little chickadee said, do whatever you want. And she told us the eye girl merch that she already has. I think this is her third bundle. I love when people say do whatever you want because then we can get all kooky with it. So this was her first option. We decided to go like goth fairy moment because I feel like I really love that look right now and I feel like it's trendy right now too. So we did this amazing dress. I love that hem and it's by this brand called Ruby Rocks cause Ruby Rocks. We did the pearls and we did the um, anarchy hairpins so that they'll match with the pearls and be like a great moment. We did this adorable bag. I love this handle so much that she could pair with either look option. I literally just wore this fit and it's amazing. I found these pieces separately. I bought this on Depop actually. And then this one I found at a thrift store and they happen to match like almost perfectly. I'm in love with it. So we gave her this set and this has like a denim panel on the back, which is super cute. You wear it with this top. We gave her this angel belly chain since she said, like the only real specification she said was do whatever you want and that she loves 90s and Y2K. So we decided to incorporate all that. And then we gave her these sunnies with the little diamond detail there and some pearl hair clips that she could also swap through with this look if she wanted to go like full pearly or whatever she wants. She said, I really love your style. I trust whatever you have in mind for me. Some things that I do really like are vintage lingerie, like slip dresses, also small handbags, love Betsy Johnson, Betty Boop, Powerpuff Girls, Hello Kitty jackets, and I have a lot of ear piercings as well. And I don't have any eye girl merch yet, unfortunately. Go crazy with this bundle and really have fun putting it together. My zodiac sign is Virgo. I also look forward to see seeing what you create. My Instagram is la la la. So I love this bundle. First we did a slip dress option because she said that she loves slips. I saw some pastel Betsy Johnson slips in her legs. So we had this amazing like lilac purple slip and it has a little baby blue ribbon bow right there. 
And to tie into that baby blue, we did this Hello Kitty purse. There were so many little Y2K accent bags in her Depop likes, and she said she loves Hello Kitty in our description. Also, take a peek at this. It's like butterfly print with like iridescent stitching. It's so cute. She doesn't have any eyebrow merch, so we had to bless her. So we did the Virgo Choker eyebrow pendant stack. And then we had the purple Y2K frames. Love it with the dress. And then need some hairpins. So we gave her the Anarchy hairpins that we just restocked on my Depop. I saw some very similar statement earrings in her likes, so I included that. And she said she has a lot of ear piercings, so we also gave her the coffin stud so she can like stack it up or separate it, whatever she loves. And then she said she loves jackets, and we had this amazing like bratsy deep red jacket. It's like a faux suede fabric and it's by Dory USA in the 90s. This iridescent skirt that has a little slit there. But yeah, we gave her this 90s skirt. We gave her an angel belly chain. We gave her the eye girl baby tee. She could pair with that. Or she had lots of baby tees in her likes. So we included this statement baby tee here that says FBI, fabulous, beautiful, intelligent, which would also look really cute with that skirt. Okay, so this theme is very specific, but pretty amazing. So she said, this is my second time purchasing a bundle. My measurements are la la la. My theme, an MTV interviewer, a hot girl metalhead fan attending an MTV Headbangers Ball concert in the early 90s. Just no ripped jeans, no low rise please, or two low cut tops, booty skirts or shorts. I'm kind of modest, lol. I'm a Capricorn. So we did these two amazing options. First off over here, we wanted to do like a metal band tee. So we did this Metallica tee here that she could pair with like so much stuff in her wardrobe. And I gave it like a nice raw hem down here. So it really gives that metal head vibe. We looked up the interviewer for MTV Headbangers Ball and she is like kind of sexy, like amazingness. So we gave her this cheetah print slip that will look so cute on top. I love this like really deep like red wine velvet trim here and the little rose. She could wear it with the tee or without the tee, it would be adorable. And then we gave her this little tin purse that was really giving me that 1993 vibe. And then we saw the spike choker in her likes. So in here is the spike choker. She's getting blessed with that. And then these little tortoise shell sunnies that I love it with the leopard. Leopard and tortoise gives me like the same energy. And then over here, she had a lot of moto jackets in her likes and the interviewer for that MTV show wears, wore a lot of moto jackets. So I ended up going into my closet and grabbing this PVC jacket by Unif. It's so amazing. And she could pair it with that look or this look. And then this early nineties slip dress, it's like a deep red velvet and it has a low cut back. So if she wanted to take the coat off and wear it with the spike choker, even it would look super, super cute. So yeah, that's her bundle. Hi angels, thanks for tuning in to this week's styling video. Make sure to let me know down below what your favorite look was from this video. And if you have any like editing tips, like this time I included more like images from the inspirations and like videos that I ripped from YouTube, like for that headbangers ball portion. Um, yeah, just let me know down below because I definitely like to take in what you guys want as well. I wanted to let you know that there's going to be new eye girl pieces coming in next week. So I should have them shot by about mid next week, which I'm super, super excited about. Yeah, all my love. Bye.